Hello, hello. I guess that's right. Good night, teacher. Hello, good night. Welcome, Rebecca and Jose Israel. Thank you for being punctual. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. How was your day? <clears throat> well, kind of busy. But really? <laughs> yes, but I have just a few minutes to rest. So I think that's good because yesterday, for example, I didn't have any time to rest. So I have a problem with the platform because I can't get in. Really? Yes. Um, did you try today or yesterday? Yesterday and today, I type my email address and also I put the the uh the password one two uh -huh. three four five six seven eight and mm -hmm. nothing happened. It it it's it showed me a message that said uh it's not allowed to sign up something like that. Ah okay. Well, I suggest you um post it in the group. So technical support, a person from technical support can help you. In this group? Yes, in the what in the WhatsApp group. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, let me see. Uh, Katia Rodas is the one that can help you. She's from technical support. Okay, I'm going to do it right now. Because... Mm -hmm. I sent this message to the other girl who was talking with me through whatsapp i don't i don't remember the name of her mm -hmm. uh, but like you said i posted in this group okay yeah i'm seeing your message mm -hmm. yes hopefully you can get the help you need as soon as possible hope so Okay, let's see who else is here. Lady is going to be a listener. Um, Gilberto, hello. Good. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Roberto, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good. Excellent. Good. How about you? I am ready for the class, teacher. I am very good. Excellent. Okay. Great. Danny is here as well. Welcome, Danny. Okay. Uh, let's get started. Uh, first, well, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm glad you're here. You, I'm glad you were very punctual. And, um, well, last night I sent you the, the verbs that I, I promised, uh, just in case you were able to check them. And if you have any questions related to any of those verbs in terms of the meaning, uh, we can talk about it right now if you want. Or I don't know if you were able to check the lists. Okay, no questions. And well, about uh, the platform, um, well, I know we started yesterday, but if you can uh, start progressing on, on the exercises, I'm gonna show you here the first one we have. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, here we are. So this is our first homework and it's related to the concepts we checked yesterday. Remember, we talked about the stages of um, a product life cycle, right? So here we have a, um, the definitions and you need to choose which one it is. We have four. So there are four um, items related to, to that. So that's our first homework. Okay. So I don't know if somebody else, because Jose Sael was telling me that he had issues accessing the platform. I don't know if there is someone else with the same issue. We can, um, well, I suggested a, that he sent a message to the group so that somebody can help him. He's texting, texting right now. Um, what about the rest? No issues with accessing the platform? No, teacher, for me, it's okay. Okay, great. Thank you, Roberto. Okay, I see Rodrigo is here. Hello, Rodrigo. We also have Gabriela, Jose Andres as a listener, Maria Leticia. Welcome, Maria Leticia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Okay, thank you, Jose Andres, for letting me know. Well, um, I was just checking if everybody was all right with your access to the platform with and showing you our first assignment, which is based on a uh, yesterday's uh, class. Okay. Now, um, let's check the attendance. So. Here we go. Okay. Um, Danny Anthony Siguenza Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. He's a listener right now. Uh, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Not here yet. Let's hope he joins us later. Lady Joanna Hernandez Ventura as a listener right now. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. I'm here, teacher. Great. Um, Maria Leticia Realejeño Gonzalez. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Mauricio is not here yet. Eh, Rebeca Maria Cardona Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, Rebeca. You have, you have a little cat. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he likes to, to show, show up in my classes. when I I'm love it. I love it. <laughs> I thought you hadn't seen him because of the background, but yeah, it's here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Mauricio, okay, Rebeca, Roberto Carlos Gámez, Alvarenga. Present teacher. Okay, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Um, Present teacher. Okay. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez, she's coming in. I think she's still a little sick, so she will be a listener. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadino. Hi. Oh, no, I think my... 
sorry, my computer got stuck for a little bit. Can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, um, so today we're going to start by checking some other vocabulary related to the concepts we checked yesterday. Actually, well, first we're going to review some of those words, okay? So um, right now I'm going to, we're going to play like a guessing game where I'm going to give you a clue and you will tell me um, what, it, what, what are what the concepts uh, we discussed yesterday. So I'm going to be choosing some of you. Um, please let me know if you can hear me because I see that I'm having issues right now with my, I guess, with my connection. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, so I said that we're going to play a guessing game, okay? I'm going to give you a clue and you will tell me what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm going to go to the list and um, we're going to add another little game, okay? Um, you need to guess. <coughs> Okay, you need to guess the number I have on my hand. Okay, so everybody, can you type in the chat a number from one to five? Can you type a number from one to five in the chat? Four, three. No, no, only from one to five. Gabriela, you went too far. <laughs> Only from one to five. One, no, it's not one. Let's see. Lady, well, lady, you are a listener. <laughs> yes, it is number five. Mm -hmm. I don't know if lady can participate. Um, because I'm going to give you two clues and you need to tell me the two concepts that I'm talking about, okay? So let's see. The first one is, well, if lady cannot participate, somebody else can help her, okay? Um, so what is the stage of the product life cycle where the product is brought into the market? Where the product is uh, brought it, into the market. Uh, I think it is the introduction. Aha, very good. Yes, market introduction. Mm -hmm, very good. Okay, one more, one more. Uh, what is the stage of the life cycle of a product? where uh, the growth in sales decreases. Where the growth in sales decreases. Decline. Yes, decline. Decline? Mm, no. It's a growth. No, because the growth in sales decreases. Decrease means go down. Mm -hmm. The growth Maturity. goes down. Hmm? Maturity. Maturity, okay. Yes, Rebecca, maturity. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now uh, we're going to choose somebody else, okay? This time, because lady was, uh, is only, is a listening right now. We didn't ask her directly, but okay, we're going to choose another person. Um, so this time we're going to choose numbers from five to 10, okay? Give me a number from one, sorry, from five to 10. Can you write in the chat, please? Five to 10. 
five to ten. Seven. No, it's not seven. Six. It's not six. Okay. Another one. Another one. Remember, we have five numbers. So we still have three opportunities. We have eight, nine, and ten. Ten. No, Roberto. We only have two possibilities, eight or nine. Gilberto, you are the winner. Look at my camera. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. I'm going to give you two more clues, Gilberto. And okay, let's see. Um, we use this word as a synonym of attraction. What is this word that Demand. we use? Uh huh. Demand. 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 Mm, no, not really. This is a very teacher. Demand. Demanded. Somebody said the word is appeal, Gilberto. The word is appeal. Mm -hmm. When, uh, remember yesterday we were saying that uh, when something is attractive, it's appealing to, in this case, to the customers, for example. Right? So appeal is a synonym of attraction. Okay. Another one that we checked yesterday. Um, okay, this is a, this action is related to um, kicking off a product or when you launch a product. It's a synonym of kick off or launch it the product. It's a take off. Take off, yes, very good, take off. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to choose one more person. So in this case, we go back to one, okay, let's make it uh, from one to three. Okay, give me a number from one to three, please. Mm -hmm. Two. Two, no, <laughs> it's not two. Okay, one or three? One. Yes, Danny, it's number one. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the first clue. Okay, this word is a synonym of a taking away something or removing something. It's a withdraw. Okay, very good. Withdraw, withdraw. Mm -hmm. And the last one, the last one, okay, this action uh, is um, developed by someone who wants to eliminate the competition. So they um, Let's say that they purchase or they um, get this company that usually is a smaller company. They pay money to be the owners of the competitor's company. Uh-huh. Check your vocabulary list. Is buyout? To... Yes, it's buyout, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you buy your competitor's a company, so you are the only owner of the product uh, in the market. 
okay? Um, that is how, uh, in this case, um, monopolies exist, right? Because they, um, they buy out the competitors, okay? Well, so that's about a little review from the vocabulary uh, that we checked yesterday. Okay, now we're going to start with our activities for today's lesson. And let me share here what we are doing. Okay, here we have the vocabulary. And today, guys, we're going to be working, first of all, on a little presentation, okay? If you, um, if you have your material with you right now, we're going to focus on page 11, okay? Still unit one, it says your turn, okay? So in this case, we, we will do a teamwork activity and Okay, here we have the instructions. This is the first activity. Okay, we're going to select a product known by everyone in your team. Okay, uh, for example, I don't know, um, we can talk about uh, shoes. Uh, well, it could be a, a specific kind of shoes like sports shoes or formal shoes. Okay, for example, right? So we first, we select the product. After that, we prepare a presentation to explain the stages of the product life cycle in our own words. And these are some questions that we can use to guide the presentation, okay? First, we can brainstorm on all the information we remember about how that product was introduced to the market. Okay, so we need to think about that, right? Like the product we know, it has to be a real product, okay? Because here we're talking about something uh, that we know. So we need to remember the marketing strategy that was used to introduce this product to the market. Um, also, any statistics or data, data means like information, right? Do you remember some data about the maturity of the product? Well, in this case, maybe not exact, of course, not like we're not talking about numbers, but we can discuss like, let's say, um, how this product uh, evolved, right? From the moment it was introduced to the maturity stage. Remember the maturity stage is about uh, when let's say the product is already pos positioned into the market and we can see if we can make some changes in order to uh, for it to continue to be on demand, it's necessary to, to differentiate it from other products, right? So that it keeps being on demand. So just so some ideas that you can think of. Did the product decline? Is the product available on the market these days? So these are the questions that we are going to, that are going to help us to prepare our little presentation, okay? Um, I don't know if we are clear on these instructions. Are we clear about the instructions? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So now let's talk about the teams. Okay, uh, let me see. We have, okay, let me check the people who are able to participate. We have Gilberto, Dani, Gabriela. Israel, uh, Maria Leticia, Rebecca, Roberto, Rodrigo, Rolando, 
And Sofia, can you please confirm if you are a listener today? Can you text us, send us a text? I guess she is. I'm just counting the people who are actually participating so we can make the groups. Okay, so uh, that means we have around nine of you who are participating. So I'm going to make groups of three, okay? And I'm going to, um, I'm going to make the breakout rooms. And okay, we have for this part, which is the presentation preparation, um, we're going to have um, five minutes to prepare. Remember, you are just going to put together your ideas, okay? You can share uh, your answers to these questions. You can organize yourselves in terms of who is going to talk about this, who is going to, to talk about this other information, okay? So, um, I'm gonna give you five minutes right now, but then I'm going to see if we need more time, I can give you more time, okay? So, um, let me make the breakout rooms. Okay, let's see. Okay, perfect. We have everybody in a room now. And remember, we have five minutes. If we need more time, we will see later on, okay? So I'll see you in your breakout rooms, okay? Pero sí, sí, lo escuchamos, lo escuchamos. ¿Cuál es la prueba de un Un es la prueba de un select, es a computer. This, this is a product uh, the product you can work in and the before is a computer. Mm. Oh, no. Yes, uh, or other other idea the product. Pues no sé si. Le parece como usted estaba hablando ayer de la canela, ¿verdad, Dani? Sí, yes, yes, Alberto. Es a professional in the canela, Alberto. Yes. Yo creo, o sea, que es un producto que todos lo conocemos y podemos agregar ideas más prácticas, ¿verdad? Gabriela, ¿qué no es a product? Mm. Me parece.
un celular. Este... We have, bueno, tendríamos que usar las, las tres etapas que vimos ayer. Uh -huh. Sí. Y de esa forma hacer la presentación. Uh -huh. Hello, have you agreed on a product? Do you have the product that you're going to discuss? Hi, teacher. Hello. Do you have a product? Yes, we have. We are thinking to talk about a, maybe a Blackberry cell phone. Ah, okay. Remember, you're going to use the questions, okay? The questions in the activity to, to give you ideas on what you're going to present. Okay. Re uh -huh. okay. For example, um, okay, first you can discuss if you remember how that product was introduced to the market. If you remember some information about the maturity of the product, if you remember how the product declined or if it declined or if it is available in the market. Okay, those okay. are the questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, sí. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Which question are you discussing? We are going to talk about uh, the cell phones. All the, when the cell phones, uh, well, well, the uh, smartphones in this case, well, cell phone and smartphones, uh, begins the grow up and maybe uh, the actual situation of the cell phones as you know the cell phones in in, in that in that case uh, well the cell phone is already dead we have the smartphones in this case mm -hmm. so we are going to try to talk about the evolution of the cell phones from this from the cell phone uh, in fact and actually the smartphone. Okay, okay. Well, I see we will need more time. So I'm going to give you two more minutes so you can check the, the questions, okay? Okay.
is the is the magnitude of the product is a star in the globalization in in the como como se la la revolución industrial como se en inglés industry revolution ah va industry revolution desde ahí comenzó la saturación del mercado ah va entonces sería um, uh, a day the a day about the monetary the, of the product cinnamon is was introduced in the globalization in industry ¿cómo se dice? Industry, ¿qué? industry revolution industry revolution esa es mi idea en someday about the monetary Uh -huh. y, y también tomando la idea de Gilberto, por ejemplo, nuestra cultura y con su... Ah. After that, on... Um, eh... 2016, it had a, a little decline about the new touch cell phones, maybe? Hello? Have you organized Hello, your presentation? Do you know? Almost. What, do you know what everybody is going to say? I need you to organize your presentation. Like, for example, Israel is going to say this, Rebecca is going to say this, Maria Leticia this, like that. Ready? We are uh, working on that. Okay, okay, great. Okay, um, I'm just gonna check what our last group is doing and then we're gonna have like one more minute. So see you later. Okay. The price is and the price ah, is sí, sí, sí. And very expensive. Va. Ajá. Ajá, va. De ahí la otra. Did the product decline? Uh, we are considered the product in the bay. Espera, entonces. Only how do you pronounce innovate? Innovate, innovate. así como se ve, ajá, okay. innovate. innovate. Pero, ajá, es espera, es como voy a poner, hacer. ajá, voy a poner inno, evolucionó e innovó. Ah, ok, ok. Pero, pero déjame ver cómo es. Okay, I see you guys are very well organized. Does everybody know what they are going to present? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, I'm going to give you maybe two more minutes just so you can finish up. Okay. And we start, okay? So okay, see you teacher, here. Thanks. Bye. 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 Letters.
Okay, everyone, welcome back. I hope we had enough time. And if we didn't finish, don't worry. We can improvise on the run, right? Because actually that's what communication is about, right? Um, we, many times we need to improvise. So let's see. Um, Okay, I'm going to go by the order we have here in the list, okay? So we're going to see who will be our first group to participate with the presentation. Um, according to the list, the first one is Danny. Danny's group. Okay. Uh... And my my presentation in the teamwork is lo uh, pre, presentar Gabriela. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. The our product is the cinnamon. It's a space. Uh, it's a natural product, and is the uh, from the bark of the tree and the, the grass process is uh went to the to the ground the the, the cinnamon and the bile a uh, bale i don't know the viable the product teacher is when it is yes because the the product um they use the in our culture salvadorian culture is used the the every every year like and like in, and for example in our food like atoll or different food and the um i i don't know remember the the last question but did it decline uh, or is this no. the market? Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the in our res, uh, result the, the this question is not because the the, the product the different use like the repellents and different things in the house and only that teacher. I don't know my my <laughs> homework. <laughs> I, I really want to add something. <laughs> uh huh. Teacher, the the product available uh, uh, the uh, different market in homes, mm -hmm. in supermarket. Uh, they use multi multiple, verdad? No decline uh, and time available. Okay, it has multiple uses, right? It has multiple yes. uses, so it has not declined. Remember yesterday yes. we were checking the present perfect, so this you have an example there. It has not declined. Mm -hmm. It not has declined. actually, perfect. Yes. Uh -huh. in this case, the product has evolved, okay? The product has evolved yeah. because uh, Gabriela, for example, was mentioning that it, in these days, for example, you can find a, you can find products like insect repellent, right? Um, yes. Uh -huh, or for um, cleaning cleaning products as well that use in this case they use the um, uh the essence or the how do you call it like the fragrance perfume, leaf. the fra yeah the fragrancy exactly mm -hmm. of the cinnamon okay very good yes. is that it yes okay yes. but i didn't hear i didn't well i don't remember actually if you mentioned when this product was introduced to the market Oh yes, teacher. Uh, 
in our conclude the uh, I pre Colombian um I no it <laughs> lo dijimos lo estamos diciendo época precolombina eh, okay science thousand pre years times pre colonial times okay <laughs> are you sure did you google it did you go to google and check <laughs> okay i think yes teacher <laughs> i think yes okay I, that is I that is your google. homework that is your <laughs> homework now you will have to go to google ah you have a book about it danny <laughs> it is the cloud teacher Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so, yes, well, okay. Thank you to Dani, Gabriela, and Gilberto. Everybody, let's clap for them, please. They did a great effort to present um, about cinnamon, right? Well, for those who don't know, or I don't know if everybody is already familiar with in this case, well, actually the cinnamon is, I mean, cinnamon comes from a tree, right? Um, Gabriela mentioned that it comes from, from the bark of a tree, okay? So basically what they do is that they, uh, you know, they process it, right? They pack it. There are many brands that pack it and process it. So, um, but the, uh, the 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 material, the raw material is the bark of a tree. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Okay. Our next group is, let me see here. Mm. Israel's group, Jose Israel. <laughs> I thought you, you well, have that. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, we are going to talk about, uh, well, our presentation is about the uh, cell phone called Blackberry. I don't know if you remember that cell phone. I remember. Uh, it was. Do you guys uh, remember? It, Blackberry? Yes, I remember. <laughs> okay. According to our research, it was introduced uh, in 1997, approximately. And it was a boom at that time because uh, give you the opportunity to type with uh, with your phone because it has a, a pad. And also his, the characteristic of that phone is what's the pad and also the I don't know, remember the uh, the monitor. I mean, it's not monitor. I don't remember the, the screen. The screen. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And that is our product. And now my my partner, she is going to talk about how the the product, uh, the marketing of the product, and how it rise and decline. Okay. Who is your partner? Okay, me. Leticia. Okay. Sign, signs one thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Blackberry began to reap success and give something to talk about, thanks to technology, technological innovation such as its email service, even winning an Oscar for technical progress of the year. However, it wasn't until the early years of the 21st century that these technologies began to materialize. And the BlackBerry Curve was the manufacturer's New web version that on 
Doubtably. Doubt, undoubtedly. Took the company to the top. But is but with this one, competitors were already thinking about how to dethrone Blackberry. This is how in 2007 began what many call the beginning of the end of Blackberry. Continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, about the maturity in approximate, approximately uh, 2040, the market introduction of touch phones began with, with this news uh, cycle uh, of, of Black, Blackberry because that was like a technological revolution about mobile phones. Uh, perhaps their efforts to adaptation and innovation, Blackberry's brand has uh, their decline because they wasn't appeal any more for the people. Okay, I guess you finished. Yes. That's it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, let's clap for your classmates, please. Thank you guys for sharing about Blackberry. I like that you included some of the words we checked yesterday, like for example, that they were not appealing anymore to the, the, the people, right? Uh, and that was one of the reasons why um, the BlackBerry phone declined, right? There was a decrease in demand, okay? Um, now, I was thinking about like as you guys were presenting, I was thinking about what was what what did I mean what made the BlackBerry phone special? To tell you the truth, I never had one. That was you said 1997, right? So I was in um, let me see, eighth grade, something like that. So I never had one and I don't know what made it special. Did you have one? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. I I have I had one when actually they start with the decline. <laughs> <laughs> but I rem I think one of the reasons was because the the way to typing was like a a keyboard because had a lot of uh, teclas. <laughs> there was a keyboard, yeah. right? Yes. A physical yes. keyboard. Mm -hmm. And because the, the, mm, the bottom to up or down or move to one side, uh -huh. wasn't to push was like touch. Mm -hmm. So it was inconvenient, right? Yes. It became inconvenient compared to the newer technology, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Well, um, let's now listen to our last group, but not least. Let's see, this is Roberto Carlos's group. Okay, teacher, may I, may I, may I uh, to, to share the, the screen, please? Ah, okay, give me one second here. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. It's available. It's enabled. Let's see. Okay. 
Uh, can you see it? Yes, yes, we can see the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in our case, it's very similar from the from the partner before, but in our case, we are going to to talk about the evolution of the cell phones to the smartphones. Okay. So as as you see in in the image, you can see the the first model of the first uh, cell phones, uh, and from two actual ones we have already. So. Uh, taking some of the uh, the questions the of the of the paper mm -hmm. uh, for the first for the first one uh, do uh, when do you remember some data about the maturity of the product yes we know the the first cell phones uh, born about finals of the 80s of the decade of the 80s, uh, the first model, maybe some of us don't remember, but the first model, as you see in the image, are very big and very expensive. Not not, not at all uh, have a cell phone uh, because they're very expensive and especially the cell phones uh, we will be, we, it created uh, for the business people. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the the time has passed. the the uh, this, uh, the cell phones uh, was uh, involved innovate at the point that the cell phone in that term cell phone decline or so grow out and later decline and evolves to to convert to a smartphones the smartphones that we know uh, every uh, everyone was uh, have a, a smartphone from android to a, a, an apple so mm -hmm. in this case uh, my other uh, uh, partner will be will talk about the pro decline okay Rolando are you ready okay. hello hello yeah Okay, uh, did the product the client, uh, the product uh, uh, evolution and innovated mm -hmm. um, at the, the first uh, the, the uh, cell phones were very big after uh, before uh, the product uh, cell phone is very bit uh, that uh, after after that uh, um the cell phone is 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 very is very innovative uh, because the cell phone to use uh, a lot of app uh, uh use the 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 whatsapp uh, uh facebook um and others uh, in in this day in this in these times uh, the cell phone is 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 very fast but they use the the internet to uh, uh, share the 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 the, the document or uh, or uh, share the 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 picture in the in the Facebook. Okay. Uh, only that teacher. Thank you, Rolando. Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening. The last question is the following. Is the product available on the market this day? Yes, it is. Um, this time you can find it everywhere. Um it is very indispensable for the outdoor life. Um, actually, <clears throat> the people use phone for for different for different work. For example, you can use the phone for uh adjunct work for send send or or receive information, or you can use the phone for for communicate with your family, with your friend, or or you can use the phone for loss, loss, or loss spend time with your, 
with your family or your friend or or you can spend time in in social media facebook whatsapp instagram and other right now the phone is very important in the lives of the people uh because um, you can use in your work at home or another time for that reason i think uh, in this time the the phone is is in the market is very important for for use and different thing of the people this is my opinion about the the question teacher thanks excellent thank you so much um to roberto rolando and rodrigo rodrigo the the three r's that is your the name of your group right the three r's yes <laughs> yes. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's clap for the last group. Everybody. Come on, let's clap. Great. I I told them when I joined their breakout room, and I'm gonna say it now publicly. Um, well, they were so organized that they even made a presentation. <laughs> they prepared the presentation. Um so great job on that. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to here. If you notice, I was um typing some words in the chat as you guys were presenting. And uh, for example, in the case of cinnamon, just the for for the, the spelling, okay. That's how we spell cinnamon. And it, well, they were talking, I was saying that it comes from the bark of a tree. The bark of the tree is what you can uh, take uh, off the tree, right? Um, so, and then uh, the rest are mostly related to, to pronunciation. Uh, for example, uh, when we talk about the years, especially you know the the like the years from um, starting with um for example 1910 we can use we can use it like this okay for example night we say 1910 1911 1920 1925 1930 1940 1950 1970 and so on. So it's easier uh, than if we say 1,999, although our classmate did a great job because she did it very well. But I just wanted you to know that it, there is an easier way to pronounce these numbers, right? The year numbers. We say 1999, okay? And well, with the 2000s, you have to say 2000s, right? 2001, 2007, 2010, et cetera. But the 19s, we can use it that way. Well, not only the 19s, but also the 18, for example, 1870, 1770, like that. Just in case you didn't know. Okay, and then we have these other other words that I heard that were a little bit difficult to pronounce for some of you. So let's practice them. Um, okay, we have undoubtedly, undoubtedly. Okay, you can practice on your own, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Okay, undoubtedly. yes. Uh, so the stress in this case goes in the second syllable, undoubtedly, undoubtedly, right? And then we have approximately, approximately. What is the stress in that word? Approximately. The stress is in the second syllable as well, approc, approximately. Approximately. Very good, mm -hmm. approximately. Okay, then we have other words like available, ave, available. Available. Very good. We also have evolved. This is the verb, actually. It comes from evolution, right? Evolution is the noun, but the verb is evolve, okay? And since it is a regular verb, 
it ends in ed. So we, we pronounce it in the past, uh, like you guys were using the present perfect, right? It has evolved. It has evolved. Mm -hmm. It has evolved. Okay, and then um, I think I saw this in, in the presentation. Uh, for example, when you say it's necessary for actual life, this is what we call in English false cognate or false friend, okay? Uh, because these are words that look very similar or the same actually to words in our language. Like for example, in this case, actual. Actual, we know that in Spanish, I mean, in Espanol, actual es algo de ahorita, ¿verdad? Algo que estamos viviendo ahorita. But in English, actual is not that. Act, actual, when, when you say, for example, um, the actual name of the movie is this and this. So actual in English is a synonym of real. The real name of the movie, okay, or the book. So in this case, we say current or present, okay? okay. So present life or the current life right now. To say okay. something about right now is current or you can say present. Mm -hmm. Actual is a synonym of real. My actual name is people, for example, you can say Rod Rodrigo. Um, people call me Rodri, but my actual name is Rodrigo, like that, right? My real name. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just a few um, a few words that we needed to check. Okay, well, guys, um, I hope um, everybody learned a few more new words from this experience. And also this, this way we can feel like we need practice, right? Sometimes speaking is a little bit difficult, right? Uh, but this can help us improve. Do you have any question before we go on? No question? Uh, no. No. Okay, good. Well, uh, let me share my screen and we're going to continue with a different activity. Okay, so now, okay, here you have a little self-assessment, okay? You can use this in order to check how well you did. Okay, the, it says, now I can describe details about the stages of the product life cycle. So can you do it independently? Do you do it with occasional help? Or you can, do you think you can do it only with help? Okay, so just take a moment to think about it, right? Like, can you do this independently? Do you still need help? I mean, occasional help, or do you think you know you don't do it without help? Like you do it only with help. So this is for us to think about our learning, right? Okay, now we're going to continue here with a different activity. In this case, um, we're going to focus on making suggestions about how to deal with market saturation, okay? How to deal with market saturation. And we have a question here. Would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? We have two questions, actually. Does competition affect businesses negatively? 
Okay, most of you are working for a company or you have your business, right? Uh, let me check if that is true for everybody. Raise your hand if you work for a company or if you have a business on your own. Raise your hand, please. If you work for a company or if you have your own business. Okay, very good. Gilberto, do you work for a company? Or do you have your own company? Uh, I think teacher, yes. Uh, they affect the competition in business negative. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, garlic, the other company, uh, the offer uh, the product one dollar one dollar less. Uh huh. Uh, and and we can in the cable. Uh, okay. Uh, what is your business is about garlic? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the company uh for a bear. One dollar more the the product the garlic. Uh huh. Uh, in the water less less do, less one dollar. Okay. Yes, affect. Okay. Okay, good. So I was trying to check if everyone works for a company or if you have your own business. So you you say that you have your own business, right? How yes. about Danny, Gabriela? Um, Israel, Lady, Leticia, Roberto. Well, I don't know if Roberto has raised, has raised his hand. Okay, Rodrigo, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, why am I asking you if you work for a company or if you have your own company? Because the question here is, would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? Okay. Uh, in this case, um, let me see. Um, Gilberto was, was participating and he said that in his case, yes. Um, what about the, uh, the rest? Do you think that your company has Fierce competitors. I don't know if everybody understands the word fierce. Fierce. Fierce means strong. Strong competitors. Okay. So, right now, to answer this question, you can say yes or no in the chat, please. Would you, remember the question is, would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? In other words, do you think, do you think that your company has fierce competitors? Yes or no? Gabriela says yes. Her company has fierce competitors. Uh-huh. Let's see who else. Remember, you need to answer yes or no. Do you think that your company has fierce competitors? Okay, Jose Israel, yes. Rodrigo, yes, I agree. Roberto, yes. Um, okay. Leticia, yes. So many of you are saying yes, my company has fierce competitors, or in other words, strong, strong competitors. Okay, now let's talk about the other question. Does competition affect businesses negatively? What do you think? Yes or no? This is also a yes, no question. Yes or no? Does competition affect businesses negatively? What do you think? Yes or no? Mm 
Danny says yes. Yes, it affects them negatively. Maria Leticia, yes. Okay. Who else? Who else is going to answer the question? Does competition affect businesses negatively? Okay, we have some questions, some answers. Rodrigo says, yes, it does. Roberto, yes. Okay, it looks like everybody agrees. Everybody says, yes, competition affects businesses negatively. But now the question is, how? If you guys say that competition affects businesses negatively, how does it affect them negatively? Who would like to answer this question in the microphone? A volunteer? Huh? Rodrigo, go ahead. Um, well, in my case, it affects uh, very much because, well, we actually we are a distribution company, right? Uh -huh. So yes. in our case, when we have a, a many competition, the, the prices are dropped down. And when the prices drop down very much, a, our cost of the products, a, compare it with the others, a, it is it, it is bigger uh -huh. or high, higher. Yes. So yes. in that case, we need to sacrifice. A, let me see. The can you remember how do you tell a uh, utilidades? Utilities. The uh -huh, the utilities a uh, drop down in order to uh, to to go out with the products. So uh, okay. in resume, it, it, it affects us very much. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Rodrigo, for sharing in this case, your example with your company, right? Let's see if we have another volunteer who can explain in their case, in their, in their specific case, how does it affect competition? How does competition affect their business? Me, teacher. Okay, Leticia, go ahead. Leticia, are you there? Sí. Me escucha. Yes, we, we can hear you. Okay. I see what in my case, I work in a pharmacy. We are the only large pharmacy in the city. Okay. But there are more medicine stand in the market that some folks give cheaper medicine. Okay. We think uh, it's because they do not declare taxes. Ah, okay. Okay. So your company is affected by the prices because they are much lower. Prices yeah. are much lower or much cheaper, right? Yeah. And a reason why could be that because they don't declare taxes. Okay, very good. Um, so well, in this case, as you as you see, we are providing our arguments, right? Okay, we are providing our arguments, and um, that's what we're going to be doing in this conversation that we have next. Okay, so these were these questions were like the opening questions. But now we're going to focus on number two here, okay? It says, listen to your instructor, read the conversation below. Take turns practicing with a partner, okay? 
So um, let's see, I'm going to use two models like we did yesterday. So who wants to be my model today? I need two. Okay, do we have a volunteer for models? I want to be teacher. Okay, great, thank you. Gilberto wants to be the model as well. So Gilberto and Leticia, or Lady, I don't know, who, who Lady? Rebecca. Ah, Rebecca, okay. But then I have Maria Leticia and Lady, okay? You are my next models. So let's start, Rebecca and Gilberto. Well, we have a woman and a man here. So Rebecca is Rina and Gilberto is Julio. Okay. okay. Uh, well, mm -hmm. the sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they're decreasing. Your rise, although it is no surprise with this competition. Mm -hmm. I agree. We, we must figure out a sol solution to deal with the market saturation. Mm -hmm. Many, many companies would, would prefer to withdraw to product, you know. However, we had invest a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product that this con this con continued. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Our first two models. Thank you. Okay, and now Lady and Leticia. Okay, Lady, you can start with Rina and Leticia. You play the role of Julio. Okay. Okay, teacher. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing. You are right. I'll throw it. it it is no surprise with this competition. I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the products, you know. However, we have invested a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product that discontinued. Okay, very good, thank you. Clap for you too, as well. Okay, uh, before we, because we have a, a pair activity coming. Uh, Roberto, you want to participate? Let's... Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, I'm going to be Rina and you are Julio, because I don't see somebody, anybody else with the hand up, so, okay. Let's practice. Okay, I'm Rina. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing. You're right. Although it is no surprise with this competition. I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know. However, we have invested a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Thanks, teacher. Okay, so right now I'm, well, before, as I told you, I'm going to give you some time to practice this conversation with your partner um, in the breakout rooms, okay? You can practice it together, um, taking turns. But before we do that, I want I want us to to correct some pronunciation and also I would like you to start. Um, I know that in this, I see that in this group we have like different levels. Some of you, uh, for example, uh, can read at a natural flow, let's say. And in some other cases, we need more help, right? So um, I would like you to start practicing um, natural speech, like 
try to uh, join the phrases when you read them. For example, in this case, the sales in the sales in the last two months. Okay, this phrase. The sales in sales in the sales in the last two months. Sales in. If you notice, I am joining these two words. The sales in. The sales in. Okay. And then um, okay, practice the pronunciation of this word. Decreasing. 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 Mm -hmm. Decreasing. This one is although. Although. And in this case, to make it sound more natural, we can say, okay, you're right. You're right. Although it is no surprise. Although it is. Although it is. Although it is. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, next, we have this word, figure. Figure. We, we must figure a solution. Here we also link the three words. We must figure a solution. Figure a solution. Um, another example could be, let me see. Okay, let's practice with this one. Withdraw. Withdraw. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, this one would be invested. 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 Okay, and if we join the three words here, well, actually, here we we need to. Teacher, teacher, it is however, however, however. 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 Yes, this the stress goes in the second syllable. However. However. Yes. Okay, so let's practice saying this phrase um, fast and also with the linking the sounds, okay? Putting together the sounds. We have invested a lot. 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 Um. Let's see. And the last one, the last example we have here is this one. Um, okay, then this discontinue it. Discontinue it. Discontinue it. Discontinue it. Okay, so this help us sound a little bit more natural when we when we um, pronounce the words. Teacher. Uh-huh. What is the song in the with rider? With or wood? Ah, uh, yes, it's wood. We would rather. Mm -hmm. So this is the contraction. But we, I mean, the way it is here, the way it is here contracted, we say with rather. With would. rather. With rather. Mm -hmm. We'd okay. rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Okay. Well, I think we are ready to practice in pairs, but before, let's also check what we need because we're going to do these activities. The first one is practice the conversation, okay? And the second is answer these questions, okay? We have a... Um, well, we're going to use the information in the conversation to answer the questions. Okay, question number one, two, and three. Um, if they are true or false, remember, check this, this information to say if it is true or false. Okay, so we're going to go to the breakout rooms in order to practice and discuss the questions, okay? So let me see here how we're going to be organized this time. Mm. Okay, give me a second. 
I'm going to be organizing you. <clears throat> in some cases okay i think i'm going to make more rooms Okay, let's see. Yes, okay, we're going to have a group of three because, because of the number we have of people. But here we go, okay? Now, how much time do we have for this activity? Well, uh, since we are both practicing the conversation and also answering these questions, we have a total of five minutes, okay? So I always have my timer here ready and see you in the breakout rooms. Do you have any question before we leave? Is everything clear? No question. Okay, great. Yes, teacher. Gabriela, do you have any problem? And also Leticia. Gabriela. Gabriela, do we have any technical issue? No sé si tenemos problemas, Gabriela, para conectarnos al breakout room. Figures. Uh, okay. Figures. Okay. A solution to deal with a, a market uh, saturation. Many companies will prefer to withdraw the product, you know? 
however, we had to invest invest in a lot in the this product. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I I take the 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 call and <laughs> I don't uh, speak. Okay, Gabriela, uh, let's join. Let's see who is here. Israel. Okay. I'm going to make you join group three. Let's see. Yeah, group one. invested a lot in, in the products we rather the launch the products than the continuity okay uh, if a company withdraws a product from the market no temporarily they discontinue it mm. Um, but no, they are decreasing. Mm -hmm. Decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. Mm -hmm. decreasing. Mm -hmm. You're right. Also, it is no surprise with this competition. I agree. Uh huh. We must figure figure a solution uh -huh. to deal with mm -hmm. market saturation. Mm -hmm. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product. Negocio o contrato significa deal. Ajá. Deal. Ah, vaya. Dice que está de acuerdo. Nosotros debemos buscar una solución para hacer un trato. O sea, ella ofrece un trato para, con, con la saturación del mercado. Según mi idea, ¿no? Ajá. Eh, ¿Cómo Ajá. la entendemos para, para que lleguemos allá a un consenso? Ajá, que le dice, estoy de acuerdo. We must figure, figure a solution to deal with the market saturation. O le dice, estoy de acuerdo. Deberíamos de encontrar una solución para hacer frente.
Okay, everyone. Were you able to finish checking the questions? Did you finish checking the questions? Yes, yeah, teacher. Yes, yeah, teacher. Yes. Okay. Great. Well, um, first let's check um the questions, the answers to the questions. And then uh, we're going to talk about some vocabulary that maybe it was not that familiar to you in the conversation, okay? So let's see. Um, Danny, what is your answer for, for the first one? If a company withdraws a product from the market, not temporarily, they discontinue it. Is that true or false? It's true, teacher. It's true, okay. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it means that when you withdraw something from, the, well, in this case, a product, it means that they the company does not continue to produce it, right? The company does not continue to produce the product when they withdraw it, right? They discontinue it. Okay, yes, the answer is true. It's true. True, okay. Good. Let's see, um, Leticia, what is your answer for number two? If sales decrease, they stop growing. Leticia, what's your answer, true or false? Uh, true. True, okay. True. So decrease means a synonym, I mean decrease is a synonym to stop growing, right? Definitely? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. True. Yes. Okay. So we can say that um, decrease is a synonym of or is similar to the word stop growing, to the phrase, sorry, the phrase stop growing. Okay. True. Mm -hmm. So true and true. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, number three. Let's see. Um, let's ask a gentleman. Rodrigo. Number three. Rina's first option to solve the situation is to relaunch the product. Her first option. It's true, teacher. Okay, it's true. Mm -hmm. We can find the answer here. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue. This is her solution, right, to the problem. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all the, all the answers are true. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, I would like us to focus a little bit on um the pronunci not the pronunciation the meaning of some of these words okay uh, so let's see i'm going to give you um right now everybody can tell me or write in the in the chat you can write the words that are not familiar to you okay well uh let me see let me see. I thought I was sharing my screen, but I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> I was I was showing you the answers to the exercise, but I'm not I'm not I was not sharing my screen. So the three answers are true. Here we have them. Okay. Now let's focus on vocabulary, okay? Vocabulary from the conversation. So Please, everybody in the chat, I need you to write 
the words or phrases that you were not familiar with. I could see that some of you were using a dictionary and checking. Um, <laughs> that's great, okay? But let's see, let's see if we can share the new vocabulary in the chat, which words were not familiar to you. Okay, nobody is writing, so that means everybody already knows the vocabulary. Okay, Roberto, decreasing. Aha, uh -huh. Danny with rather. Okay, I'm going to reply to, I'm going to reply to your comments directly so you can see, um, the definition, okay? So, declining, stop growing. Okay, I'm writing as uh, synonyms here in the, in your comments, okay? Let's see, we also have the, the expression, with rather, okay, in this case, when we say with rather, it's similar to say we prefer. So with rather, you express preference, okay? I prefer this to this. For example, I pre you can say I, I prefer or I'd rather, I'd rather eat um pupusa de frijol con queso eh, than pupusa with I mean pupusa revuelta okay so you are you are expressing preference when you use rather we prefer okay mm -hmm. let's see a eh, fears okay very good I said strong also Passionate, okay, fears. Um, so fears is a synonym of strong or also passionate. Let's see if we have another one. Ah, Maria Leticia says, invested okay invest in this case uh, they are conjugating the verb because it says uh, however we have invested a lot so she's conjugating the verb in this in the present perfect right we have invested so the word the verb is invest this is the verb invest invest would be a um, dedicate dedicate time and money to a project well in this case to a product okay dedicate time and money to a product and she says we have invested a lot in this product Okay, so it means that uh, they have invested time and they have invested money on the product, okay? Probably they spent many days, many weeks, many months working on the project, on the product. Also, they, um, um, they used a big amount of money, a lot of money, to develop the product, right? So dedicate time and money to a product. Okay, do we have something else? Um, no. So the words that you guys shared here are, let's see, we have 
figure ah figure I didn't I didn't answer this one from Roberto figure we need to figure or we must figure a solution okay figure in this case means think of okay or think about oops think about so in this example uh, Roberto is the same as if we say we must think about a solution okay we must or we must think of a solution the two prepositions are, are correct we must think of a solution or we must think about a solution okay so figure in this case is a synonym of think think the pensar mm -hmm. must think yes we must think of a solution mm -hmm. okay okay let's see and the other one is discontinue discontinue stop producing okay stop producing something or stop producing a product it sounds redundant right it's redundant repetitivo es decir producing a product <laughs> that's why i say stop producing something stop producing something okay uh, with rather we i already answered let's see okay that's it that's it um Mm -mm. Okay, what about this one? I saw that some of you were checking, for example, this, this uh, phrase. Okay, Rina says, we must figure a solution to deal with market sat saturation. So when you say to deal with, what do you think it means? To deal with. To deal with. What does that mean? We must think of, we must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Uh -huh. uh, well, it refers when you uh, treat with an uh, with something in the market or in Spanish, when you lidiar con algo. <laughs> yes, that's the translation, lidiar con. Mm -hmm. okay? But if you explain it in English, it would be uh, to um, confront. Confront, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. To confront a problem. Mm -hmm. Or also, is confront is a synonym of face, to face a problem. Mm -hmm. to face a problem yes okay well uh we're almost done with our session but i would like you to check i mean we don't we don't have time in 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 the class but here in your at the bottom of the of the page you have these two articles, okay? And we also have the same in the previous page. So if you open this article, for example, I think I have it open, let me see. I have to pass attendance again, I, I have forgotten. Here, this is the, 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 the article uh, called the product life cycle. So you can read more about the life uh, cycle of a product in this article and you can see other concepts that we haven't discussed yet but probably you can i would like you to check it before tomorrow so you can um, share maybe one or two words that you learned from this article okay try to check it before class tomorrow and we can discuss new vocabulary from this um, from this article. Okay, let's pass 
attendance before we leave. And let's see. Okay, Danny, Anthony, Siguenza, Ventura. Bien, teacher. Thank you. Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria, Rios. Present, teacher. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. Are you there, Jose Andres? I don't see you. Um, yes, I see you. <laughs> okay, as a listener. Uh, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas, not present today. Uh, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present. Uh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. I'm here. Eh, María Leticia Realigeño González. Present teacher. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez, not present today. Uh, Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Present teacher. Eh, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Present teacher. Eh, Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. She's here as a listener. <laughs> Thank you. I see your message. And Yesenia, Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadino. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Well, guys, it was a pleasure. And um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Remember, if you check the article that I showed you, that is at the bottom of your lesson, make sure you bring at least one new word that you found in that article to share tomorrow, okay? So I'll okay. see you. Bye-bye. See good you. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.